Okay, I'm gonna add one more layer of loops at the bottom. If you wanted to stop here, you could, but I, I wanna add just one more layer of loops at the bottom. I like really big, giant, full balls, but this here alone, as is, looks really cute, so you could even leave it like this. Okay, so I'm going to flip my entire bow over and I will start adding loops where I think, and if you notice the the uh, wires are already bent at a 90 degree angle because these will be at the very bottom so you do want to bend the wires completely over to 90 degrees so there is one okay and what I think I'll do is just add some tape now so it doesn't move from where I have it here tighten and pull on your tape Remember, pulling the tape releases the glue, so you definitely want to pull the tape. Okay, there's the one. Cut it. And this tape does get sticky, so it's kind of helpful to have somebody help you to release it from your fingers if it does get stuck. But, of course, my cameraman has his hands full right now. Thank I'm you. Put that one there. I give it a good three or four turns so that I just added this one and this one I'm going to add another pink one right about here and again it's all about filling in the gaps just eyeballing it and using your best judgment and when it's all said and done if there's one loop that kind of looks out of place remember these are on wire so you can just easily tweak it and move it wherever you need to to fill in any major gaps and we will do that towards the end or when we are completely finished if you're using all one color you don't need to worry about arranging them the way that i am but i need to kind of watch what i'm doing since i'm using two different colors hold it in place don't move I'm going to go up a little higher on the tape to make sure they're nice and secure. Sticky tape. Okay. Pink. Blue. Blue. I'm going to add another blue one here. Make sure I want the pink one here. Let's see how that looks so far. And we are getting close to the end. Again, I won't know until I completely flip this thing over to see how it looks while it's set down on my rack. Okay, I obviously need another loop here, unless I move this over. Pink. Okay, I'm going to add one more pink one here. I don't lose the spot. And I think that might be all we need. Okay, hold it in place. Tighten the tape so it does not move on you. And I'm going to go ahead and twist 
and turn and make the tape go all the way to more about more or less about where I cut the other wires. That's about the total length that I want the wires to be. I'm going to flip it over and see how this looks. Okay, so I'm turning to see if I have any major gaps. This is not too bad. Mm. The only gap that I really see is right about here. I have all of those together. So I think I need just two more here and we'll be done. So I'm just gonna add, uh, actually I'm gonna add one blue and one pink. And that'll be it. So, so far after I add the blue and the pink, I will have used a total of 22. So I have two left over and thank God I haven't broken any. So a blue and a pink. I'm going to stretch my tape now so I'm not messing with it when I'm adding my bows, my loops. Blue. And I think what I will do is I will actually send my client the two extra ones just in case she accidentally breaks one. And if that happens, then she can just very easily just stick it into the bow after she's assembled her cake together. There's the blue. And my eyes are following that loop because I don't want to lose it and forget where I'm going to add the next one. So I know exactly where it's going. Okay. And the last one, the pink. Right about there. So that should do it. That should do it. amazing how sticky this tape is. Thank God though. Or else it wouldn't hold the wires together. I'm going to go ahead and tape all the way up and I'm pulling and tightening the tape as I'm doing this. And setting it down between turns because it is getting pretty heavy in that way. My arm doesn't hurt. A little bit more. That tore prematurely on me. that I don't need anymore. And at this point, my arms are burning. So when you're doing this, you will know whether or not you are in shape. Hitting the wall in the same place, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna flip the whole thing over and put it through my little pad here and see how that looks. Pretty cool. Nice, full, multi-loop bow. And my husband will show you that we only have two loops left over. Okay, so you can, you know, just arrange them, move them however you see fit. And 
and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we used a total of 22 loops to make this multi-loop bow, and I'm going to be shipping this to my client, but I want to show you all what you can do to put this into your cake. I know a lot of people are going to want to ask, you know, well, can we stick these wires into the cake, or what about the tape touching the cake? So. What you can do if it uh, if the thought of this being in your cake bothers you, which uh, many of you would be bothered by it, and I uh, don't exactly want my tape and the wires touching the cake also. So one very easy thing you can do is to use a fat boba straw to insert into the cake. So many of you have seen in my tutorials that we love to use these fat boba straws, okay? So this is one centimeter in diameter you need to use one this wide or a little bit wider depending on how many loops you use. If I use a total of 22 loops and this will actually fit almost perfectly in here, the stem of my multi-loop bow. So all I need to do is I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip maybe about two or three millimeters at the top just to widen the top because remember the stem is going to be thicker at the top and I just widen this a little bit with my fingers, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bow, I'm gonna flip it over and show you all how to do this. And this is all you need to do to insert it into your cake. So I've got my little pad stuff here, so that's no big deal. There is the side of the boba straw that I cut. I insert the stem, and as you can see, it's wider down here than up here, which is why I did that. And I just lower it down until it's nice and tight. Okay, and then you don't want to cut right where the wire is. You want to give it another maybe centimeter or even half an inch. Okay, so this will be nice and ready for my client to insert into her cake, and it will not touch any of the cake at all. So all you do is flip it over, and when she gets it, she's just going to stick it right into the cake just like this. So there it is guys, a multi-loop bow. We made a total of 24 loops. We made a couple of uh, extra loops just in case we had any breakage and thank God we didn't. So I made a bow here with, a, with exactly 22 loops. So again, make sure that you make 24 loops total to make sure that you have some backups in case you break some. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys like it. And I'm very happy with the result. Thank you to all our friends and subscribers. And I look forward to all of your questions and comments. Please check us out on Facebook. You'll see a lot of free tutorials there as well. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.